Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. We have a banger of a video for you today. When I was streaming Destiny 2 on YouTube Gaming, a couple of you guys came into my chat and you guys want to know what was my unlimited Void 3.0 Hunter build for the Grandmasters of Season 18. So I conjured up my thoughts and I thought, why not? Let's make a build. We had one previously. Let's see if we still have it. Let's see if everything still works out for the best of Season 18. Like always, guys, my dim loadout will be in the description down below. And if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Most importantly, tell somebody to love them. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. So as an unlimited invis build, this is what I recommend. Okay, if you can, get 100 mobility, 100 resilience, and at least 50 plus strength. If you can't get 100 resilience then just get at least 100 mobility and 50 plus strength okay now for the exotics obviously i'm running the graviton forfeits this is an unlimited 3.0 build and let's get in to the super i am using night stalker with the mobius quiver super everybody knows this is the cracked out weakens targets suppresses targets volatile all that type of stuff it does a massive amount of damage and it shoots three tethers at once up next in the abilities i do have gambler's dodge which is dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee ability okay and then we do have triple jump i suggest running triple jump but you can run whatever suits you up next we do have the snare bomb which weakens targets on detonation but also this will be able to make us invis and i'll show you how soon i like to run vortex grenade it pulls in enemies so if i'm using a rocket launcher during the grandmaster or anything of just a high concentrated i need all these ads dead blinded whatever it may be i can throw this nade out to weaken them and blind them all or just demolish all of them for the aspects i do have vanishing step which is basically dodging makes you invisible and then also trappers ambush which basically your uh smoke bomb makes nearby allies invisible it makes you invisible uh i use echo of dilation this basically makes me at my 100 mobility helps me out um doesn't really help me out in grandmasters at all because there's no radar but this just helps me get my 100 mobility up next in the fragments i have echo of leeching basically gives me 10 resilience which makes me at a max of 100 resilience i like to just do this just give me my resilience last but not least we have echo of persistence okay this gives me a negative 10 but my void buffs applied it to you invisibility overshield devour have increased duration okay and this is the kicker that you want on you for graviton forfeits i like to run powerful friends i don't have these also godlike gear guys so i have to use powerful friends which gives me a a mobility buff up next i do like to use striking light now in striking light you need an arc mod in this piece okay uh striking light in the blue it says gain damage resistance against combatants while sprinting this helped me out during light blade to take a bunch of his shots from his little arc balls and it was great. I was able to not die and, and live and do a bunch of uh, double carries. Up next is the chest armor. I like to use Seeking Wells. Uh, this season is Arc and Solar, so I put on a double arc. I do have a Duality Master chest piece. Uh, so double arc, double solar, and then an arc plus. You, you can use whatever you want in this. I just like to use Seeking Wells just so Wells can come to me if I'm making them. Up next, I like to use Radiant Light. Now, this just gives me about a 90. I don't need to use Radiant Light, but uh, it's, it fills up the mod spot. With Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger. And then, last but not least, this also helps out a lot, which is Utility Kickstart. I run two of them with Elemental Ordnance. Basically, when your class ability energy is fully extended, you gain class ability energy. Cracked out of its mind right there now let's get in to why this is completely broken i'll show you guys right off the get-go but jump in the air dash straight down i have 11 seconds okay 
I don't need to run. I can basically just stand still. Doesn't matter. Okay. This. I'm probably just going to fast forward this. And then, boom. Invis. Oh, look. I have my invis back. There's no allies near me. There's no enemies near me. And I still have another invis already set. And then I dash. Unlimited invis build, guys. That's what makes this powerful. Because I can throw a Wither Horde on. Arbalisk on. Make the shots that a lot of people can't get to. I can run behind areas. All that type of stuff. When I dodge, I get one-fourth of my invis automatically back. Plus, the having the 100 mobility is just ridiculously good. So, now that we're in the Lost Sector, this is what makes Graviton forfeit so nice. Is that I'm able to slam while being invis. And if I'm near enemies, watch how fast that snare bomb goes up. Perfect. See this? This is what's really great. They can't see me, but if I want to, I can just do that and kill them. We'll go away from everything. And let's just say I messed up. I, I slammed and dodged at the same time. Okay. So we'll do the countdown of like Mississippi's, right? Like on how fast I don't have invis, right? One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Miss, four Mississippi. I say I'm I I I decided to. I misclicked again, but I want to. I know for a fact how good this build is. I can jump in the air and oh I misclicked. Oh well fuck. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to have my uh, invis fast enough, but let's see. There you go. Perfect. 